King Charles was left initially discombobulated by President Joe Biden's behavior during his trip to Windsor Castle today, according to a body language analyst. The monarch demonstrated a number of telling gestures throughout the day which gave away many of his feelings, although it seems the tactility between the pair showed their level of friendship. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. The POTUS paid a flying visit to the UK on his way to Lithuania for a NATO summit, stopping in at Downing Street to meet Rishi Sunak before going on to Windsor Castle for tea with the King and talks about climate change. Body language expert Judy James told The Mirror the King and the President seemed like old pals although at first things seemed a little confusing for them. She explained, Charles had looked rather discombobulated when the pair had their first co-ushering confusion and a pocket pat self-comfort ritual suggested he might be struggling, but by the end, he was pointing and chuckling, having succumbed to Biden's two gentlemen of a certain age charm routine and become a bit more tactile than usual himself. There were many signs of warmth and genuine connection between the two, as Ms. James said, as Charles tried to do the regal thing of gently and subtly steering his guest to avoid the kind of choreographic catastrophe that happened when Trump stepped in front of the late Queen during his visit, forcing her to peer and dodge round him to play catch up on the parade ground, he quickly found Biden had other plans, leading to two moments when each man was trying to usher the other up onto or off the dais. Biden sparks fury after repeating Trump's major protocol breach on walkabout, reveal, Prince William opens new sustainable restaurant at Duchy of Cornwall Nursery, visit, Kate makes confession about photos she takes of George, Charlotte and Louis, insight, when Charles placed a hand behind Biden's back to steer him gently, Biden treated it like an old pal's gesture and placed his own arm above the king's. Biden's hugely tactile display towards Charles involved at least four PDAs, suggesting Zara has some catching up to do in being the person who uses the most tactile behavior on her uncle in public. Biden's hand gripped Charles's upper arm during their handshake and his other hand was placed on Charles' back when they walked up towards the dais. The hand of friendship returned to Charles back after the review of the troops, and in the end, the gesture looked mutual, with both men laughing together with wreathed, face crinkling smiles and both touching the other on the back. She even admitted it was almost unheard of for such openness to be exhibited between two such high-profile figures as it could have amounted to a protocol breach. Charles and the POTUS last met on the eve of the Queen's funeral last September, as Biden did not attend the King's coronation in May. In spite of fears of Biden's anti-British stance amid the supposed snub a spokesperson for the King said, an extremely cordial and successful meeting that touched on a wide variety of issues of mutual interest and concern. You will have seen for yourselves the personal warmth between His Majesty and the President, 